Life should not just be about getting by, but the reality is it can be stressful and overwhelming. If you're getting knocked back more than you're stepping forward, it's easy to become stuck amongst negative thoughts and feelings. Your experiences and your needs are unique to you. It's important that the journey from where you might currently be to where you want and deserve to be is tailored to you and your situation. Knowing where to start can be confusing, so taking that first step can be difficult. A primary mental health service is the starting point for most people. What is primary mental health care? It is the first level of mental health services accessed by you through any health professional, usually your GP. It might feel like there's nothing out there for you, but here in southwestern Sydney, there are a range of primary mental health services and professionals, all of which are here to meet your needs, regardless of where you're at, how you're feeling, and what your journey might have been to this point. Take Abdul, for example. Abdul is a hard-working father of three who is becoming stressed about a few things in life. He is struggling to cope with the pressures of work, family life, and managing finances. He has never sought help or advice regarding how he is feeling, but he has never felt this low before. He sees a poster promoting a free mental health coaching service that can be accessed either over the phone or in person. He calls the service, and after an initial assessment, a plan tailored to his needs is developed. Taking that first step in his journey put him on the path to getting in control of what was overwhelming him before it escalated to a point where he no longer felt in control. Or there's the story of Aaron, a uni student working a part-time job to make ends meet. Aaron has just been discharged from hospital and has been connected with a local GP for help with finding the right primary mental health services and supports. The GP feels that a service focused on a range of his needs is the best option for him to move forward. He is referred to a mental health nurse in the local area who can help him deal with his emotional difficulties and stresses, but also monitor his medication and link him with other services such as Centrelink and housing. And then there's Emma. Emma has had depression and anxiety in the past, but learned to manage it well independently. Recently though, she has experienced a relationship breakdown and is finding it harder to keep on top of things. She is feeling overwhelmed with everything, but also doesn't want to appear a failure by seeking help again. She knows though that to get back to being her usual self, she needs to take that first step in getting there. She goes to see her GP for a referral to a psychologist, as this was the process she followed previously. Her GP explains that there are a few options, and together they decide on a primary mental health service that she is eligible for because she is from a culturally and linguistically diverse background. The service includes up to 12 sessions with a local mental health professional, and the cost of the sessions are covered by the program. It's important that everyone in southwestern Sydney knows that they don't have to do this alone. The hardest part can be taking that first step, but knowing what services are available to you and understanding how to access them is important to beginning your journey. You should always see your GP first to talk about any concerns you might have and to get advice on what is available to you based on your current situation. Southwestern Sydney PHN commissions a number of mental health programs and services in the region covering the local areas of Bankstown, Liverpool, Fairfield, MacArthur, Wallandilly and Windsor Caribbean. For more information about primary mental health care and these initiatives, visit yourhealthyourtimeyourway.com.au.